Welcome to the GameX Clips community, where we bring you the latest and greatest in gaming news, reviews, and trailers. Today, we are excited to take a closer look at the recent trailer for the highly anticipated Resident Evil 4 Remake. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, don't worry, we've got you covered. But for those who have, get ready to dive in with us as we break down every spine-tingling detail. From the haunting visuals to the heart-pounding action, this trailer includes a lot of shots of stuff from the castle and island, stuff Capcom's been hiding up to this point, so probably some spoilers in this video, given all of it is from the trailer. So, get ready for a deep dive into the world of Resident Evil 4. But before we start, let's watch the trailer now. You see, we are all connected through the holy body. When you need only accept the sacred gift. Christ! Like... She did. Temperance, child. I've taken the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. Ah, the entertainment. Without further ado, the gallant knight protects the princess Bay. <laughs> I'll make it cheap for you. Move! Is it always like this with you? How about you open fire instead of your mouth? Long time no see. Major Krauser? Why? You can't save her. You can't save anyone. What's gonna happen to me? We gotta keep moving forward. We will beat this. Together. Thanks. Then come, Sancho Panza. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You gotta hurt yourself. Sorry! Bad traffic! This is kind of fun! Ahead! You're kidding. Whoa. Ah, uh, yes, the time has come. Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. I'm ready to die, Boogie. Exalt all Leon! And let it be so! This time, it has to be different. Well now, time to cause some mayhem! Alright, here's a breakdown for Resident Evil for Remake's third trailer. This trailer includes a lot of shots of stuff from the castle and island, stuff Capcom's been hiding up to this point, so probably some spoilers in this video, given all of it is from the trailer. We start off with the cave scene that these Resident Evil 4 Remake trailers seem to love opening up on. This chamber is new so has no full context of where it is in the game, but the Zealots are here, along with Sadler and Ashley on a sacrificial slab, so probably the castle. We'll get back to the ritual chamber, but Sadler talks about how we're all connected through the holy body, telling Leon to accept the sacred gift like Ashley has. This spike pit area is probably the area before the Verdugo fight. When Salazar opens the spike pit trap though definitely seems spikier and more gruesome than it once was. So we see the type C plagas for the first time, the spider ones. Interestingly this one is not bursting out of the zealot. It's actually jumping onto his back and latching onto him. It seems the new ability it has is to reattach itself to other enemies and presumably give them a boost. I'd take a guess that the enemies it latches onto can't be killed unless you kill the Plagas on their back. Before I continue, the new Plagas Type C back mechanic is similar to the Scrap Man Spider enemies from Resident Evil 1.5. Not sure if intentional or not, but that's actually a fair comparison as they were meant to buff zombies also. Leon is also wearing the tactical vest here, which was an increased defense item you could buy from the merchant in the original game RE4. Presumably the same here probably an item you buy from the merchant for increased defense. The zealot the Plagas latches onto, starts sprinting and gets jittery, so it does change their behavior. That'll be fun to play I'm sure. 
We get back to the ritual chamber with Leon, presumably somewhat under the control of Sadler here, to why he's standing there and not fighting back, as Sadler coerces Leon to give in. Notably, we see the female zealots here, and Sadler in game as the RE engine villainize in promotional art. Most notably in RE7, the villains were given a glowing gray eye pupil touch. Never been seen in the games until now. Just find it interesting, especially since Capcom usually uses it for molded infected peeps, but might just be a villain motif that Capcom is fond of. We see Ashley got close to Leon somehow, probably acting vulnerable, and then steals Leon's knife from him. Obviously not herself, both the infected eyes show it, but she says, Temperance, child, which I doubt is new age young adult lingo. The trailer starts rapidly showing brief glimpses of a couple dozen sections of RE4. The trailer focus seems to mainly be showing off that a lot of moments people remember are still in the game, without showing in detail. Starting with the elevator section in the castle. This was right before the Salazar boss fight in the original game. Seems mostly the same. A spiraling staircase and an elevator that stops every time a few enemies jump on it to put it over weight capacity. Leon Perry and enemies acts then follow up with a roundhouse kick to all of them. Anyways, this section seems pretty faithfully recreated, but I wonder if they'll let players choose the elevator or the stairs this time. As in the original, the stairs stop part way up. Now I may be mistaken about this, but I believe this is the section before you meet Salazar for the first time. I always viewed it as living quarters for the zealots as it had a couple bedrooms and a sort of alchemy room. Regardless if I'm right or wrong, we get a good look at the Type A and Type B plagas here. This was where Type B plagas were first introduced in the original game as well if I'm reading this area correctly. We see the knife can be used as a defensive item against the Type B plagas one hit kill hit swallower attack here. One can assume it's still a one hit kill move, just have a defensive move. Because we don't see the end of the animation, we don't see how much knife health it takes. Salazar is heard talking here, saying he's prepared some entertainment for Leon. Leon snarks back like he's been for some entertainment, and Salazar calls Leon the gallant knight to protect the princess fair. I personally love his dorky little evil laugh. We see the early castle catapult scene from the original game. Once again overall seems rather faithful. We only see a bit of the level design, but it's around the cannon you fire at the wall and from what we see seems pretty close to the original game at the very least. As you can see a blue medallion in the upper left corner of the castle here. I also really like the explosion effects. They look nice especially in motion. The trailer now shifts to focusing a lot on Luis, who has a much expanded role in the remake. Luis presents what I assume is the pills to suppress the Plaga's growth, saying he'll make it cheap for you. Interestingly, it has the RE engine's favorite yellow tape on it. That with its somewhat large size makes me wonder if it's an item you can obtain later to make it stick out in the environment. Speculation on that aside, Luis seems to show his sleaze in some new ways in the remake by trying to sell it to Leon. We see Luis still has a good heart though, and is in many more scenes in the game this time. Specifically, he seems to be with Leon in the mine section after the Verdugo fight as we see him in the double L Gigant Lava Room fight and the mine cart section later. And we see him also in the Ganado Fortress area with Bella Sisters, showing he sticks around longer than the cabin fight as well. Definitely a merchant side quest. I think many people were expecting the two L Giganti fights of the original to be cut, but instead it's been reimagined as a boss fight with Luis in a bigger, more detailed arena. I don't spot the zip line. But there's a catwalk above the arena and a generator and lever for the lava hatch. Zipline may still be there. I just don't spot it from the bit we're shown. We see the mines area right before the two El Giganti fight. A Bella sister replaces Dr. Salvador here. And Luis is in tow here to also help you fight. Leon and Luis have some playful banter as they help each other while giving each other a hard time. Luis commenting on Leon's insane predicaments he finds himself in. Leon telling Luis to open fire rather than open his mouth. We now get to see Krauser and some of his scenes in the remake. Not from the trailer, but in this art you can briefly see the ruins you fight Krauser in eventually, and show Krauser both his personal beef with Leon, and wears a dead mercenary patch on the arm that will ultimately mutate. I find it interesting they gave him a backpack to imply he's a survivalist. Interestingly, you can see Leon runs up to someone on the floor, who I think is Luis. But it's hard to tell, with several knives stabbed in his back. This may or may not be Luis' death scene, or he survives, but also shows Krauser is more sadistic this time. 
If I'm right and that is Luis with several knives in the back, then that either implies Krauser shows up earlier or Luis survives to the island. Regardless, this is clearly when Krauser makes his dramatic appearance, saying, It's been a long time, though unclear if he still says comrade or not, maybe cut off for the trailer. Leon calls him Major Krauser and asks, Why? Which if Krauser really does kill Luis, or at least stabs him in the back with a few knives, may explain this exchange. Krauser does a little cool knife juggle to show off. Krauser taunts Leon how he can't save Ashley, how he can't save anyone. Which again, if Krauser killed Luis after Leon saved him multiple times, may explain this exchange a bit. I don't immediately recognize this next room, but maybe it's the chamber you free Ashley from in the original game, just no longer a sniping section? Or it might be after you reunite with Ashley after her segment, either or. Anyways, we see Leon use the bolt thrower, which is the updated mine thrower. It's now a little crossbow that can both shoot arrows and mines. Leon places a mine and it explodes in proximity to the zealots. We also see that Leon has instructed Ashley to sneak out of harm's way. She crouches and tries to sneak by. I enjoy that the Ganados can still drop their shields when you stun them like the original game. And it's here we get the long-awaited confirmation that Leon still suplexes the Zealots. I know plenty of people who are happy about this, including myself. We see a brief segment of Ashley's castle sequence from the original game as well. We know this is not the first time you play as Ashley from other trailers. Ashley is defenseless only with a blue glowing lantern. We see her in some library. The enemy is hidden behind the shelf, so I can't fully make out, but definitely has a sword, tentacles coming out of its neck and arm and wearing armor. Maybe reimagined knights? This is a lot stuff trailer. We're only about halfway through the trailer right now. Next up we see the infamous water room. The zealot throws its scythe at Leon, which Leon ducks under. New tech for that it seems. Ashley is running on her way to hit more levers. Also from the water room we see Leon sniping zealots from afar as Ashley turns levers. Pretty similar to the original once again. But I think the water room imprinted itself in many people's memories for the difficulty spike it was. We have a little moment between Leon and Ashley somewhere in the castle where Leon says they have to keep moving forward, to push through to survive, and that they'll beat this together. Ashley looks like she has some doubts, but says thanks. I'm not privy enough to recognize where in the castle they are from the close-up face shots, though. Luis hypes himself up by grabbing a pipe, funnily enough with yellow tape on it again, calling Leon, Sancho Panza, and they're out to rescue Ashley, calling her, Princess Dulcinea. These are fictional characters from, Don Quixote, a book by Miguel de Cervantes from the 1600s. This also implies that Luis sees himself as Alonso Quijano, the main character from that book who's an underdog hero idealist. I love how dejected Luis looks when Leon takes the pipe from him. We see Mike, who has a rather, yeehaw energy going on, complaining about being slow due to bad traffic, but he's here now. Compliments of Hunnigan, definitely leaning into his over-the-top personality, which I dig. We get to see Base Ganado for the first time here. The chopper's bullets look like they absolutely shred through the base Ganado, but likewise, we see they're firing back, and Leon's arm takes on a bloodied look upon getting shot by one. I'm sure some have mixed feelings about this sequence returning but curious how they'll touch it up outside of the obvious better lighting here. We also see Luis join Leon in the crazy minecart ride fun. I like how they back-to-back -back show two of RE4's crazier set piece moments to show they're still here. Little tidbit, the minecart section the player has infinite red 9 ammo, showing each gun has infinite ammo upgrades you can get. In the mic section it also appears as if Leon has the HNK MP5, which first appeared in RE5 so new here if so. We see Sadler without his hood. There is definitely something abnormal with his scalp, but it's hard to make it out fully. I think this might be the Novisador nest from RE4, but if it is it's been heavily reimagined and moved to the mines underneath the castle now. We briefly see the Garador. A new detail is his face mask seems to hold his gums back to expose those pearly whites. A bit bulkier, but still with those iconic claws. From the first prison fight with him, his claws make skid marks on the walls which I find cool. We see Leon with Ashley on a bed. I think this is when you rescue her on the island, since it seems the scanner outside needed three of something to unlock. Leon reiterates to Ashley he's going to get her home safe. We also get a shot of Luis going die hard on the two El Gigantes. We get several shots of the Krauser knife fight, 
which has been turned from a cutscene to a new boss fight. As many suspected, the parry mechanic is utilized here, as well as breaking free from grabs and the like. Cool to see this sequence playable, honestly. An interesting detail is it seems like the Lost Plagas have now been mined from solidified amber rather than mummies like the original, but makes the mines make a bit more sense at least. We see Ada for all of one second, yelling, Leon, Sadler yells to exult all, and let it be so. We see Leon struggle with his infection in the chamber. We briefly see an Ovisador, flying away from an explosion, presumably its nest in the mines. Finally, we see Leon Princess carrying Ashley to the Plaga's removal chair, I presume, from the original game. A lot to dissect. Trailer mainly seemed to be showing a lot of scenes people remember are still in. Mercenaries confirmed to be free post-launch DLC. A special demo is coming soon, no date, and yes, it's for all platforms the game is on, not just PS4, PS5. Overall, this trailer breakdown provides an exciting glimpse into what we can expect from the upcoming Resident Evil 4 Remake. The graphics and gameplay look impressive, and the return of familiar characters and locations is sure to please fans of the original game. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to help spread the word and keep the Resident Evil hype alive. Remember to like, share, and comment with your thoughts on this breakdown video. Thank you for watching, and we can't wait to experience the full game together.